think we all have moments like Shannon wrote about where something happens and you're not treated justly or fairly or you're offended and, and you get angry. And I think there's really something to what Shannon wrote about how anger is kind of the signal to let you know that there's another emotion that is um, that you're feeling more strongly. I think that we all have situations more severe, obviously, than a white truck falling too close. I don't know if you can see it from your vantage point, but there is a truck that will not get off my tail. I don't have anywhere else to go. I'm going a smidge above the speed limit. And he's backed off now, probably because he knows you're watching. But that's what's making me angry right now. Or Starbucks being missing in action. I cannot, for the life of me, find a Starbucks. I just want a soy chai, people. Oh, why can't I find a Starbucks? I even used my Starbucks app on my iPhone. It can't even find one. What part of America doesn't have a Starbucks in like 50 miles of interstate? Angry. We all have situations that happen that make us way more angry and deservedly so. Um, but I think our goal as Christian women should be that when we come to a situation where we don't um, know what our emotion is and we all make say I'm angry, that before we speak out of that anger or act out of that anger, we need to really pray about and consider what our real emotion is. Hey, by the way, I know that there is godly anger, but that's not what we're talking about this week. We're talking about the kind of anger that stems from hurt or pain. Um, so, you need to separate the two in your mind. Okay, carry on. The Bible says, in your anger, do not sin. And we've got to learn as mature Christian women that when you are angry, you cannot lash out with your words or with your actions. I think that's why sh what Shannon said is so important, that you need to identify what that inside emotion is. Um, because you can't act out of that anger. I'm not saying there's not a place for honesty, but I'm saying that when you are in the heat of the angry moments, you can't, you can't speak out in anger. Because once those words are out and once those actions are out, whether it be physical violence or just saying something really ugly, you cannot ever take that stuff back, ever. You can apologize and God forgives and your friends and family can forgive. But words spoken in anger leave a mark. God created with words. I mean, that's the kind of power that's there. That's what James 3 is all about. I think it's James 3. James 2? James 4. James. The book of James. There's a chapter that's all about your tongue. I think it's 3. I don't know. But we have to control it when we're angry. Because anger is not what you're really feeling. There's something else. And that's why you can't speak out of that anger. That's when people really, really get hurt. Really, really. I get that that sounds kind of harsh. But I want you to know that we here at She Seeks aren't just about encouraging you. We are about encouraging you. But we're also about challenging you to become a godly woman um, that changes the world with your generation. And a godly woman can't speak out in anger. And so I'm challenging you um, to take those moments of anger when you have a million different ways you can let that out and rein it in and take it to the Lord and talk about with the Lord what is really going on. I'm challenging you to be that kind of woman because that's who I want to be. Um, I still can't find a Starbucks, but the truck's gone. And I'm using a tripod to video this. Did I even tell you that yet? I am. I would love to know what people think when they drive past me and I'm talking to a video camera on a tripod on my dashboard. Here's something else. It's sunny, it's 38 degrees, and it's snowing. I don't even know how that's possible. I have no idea how that's possible. 
But that's what's happening right now. I'm not angry about that. 